Hey guys, welcome back to our Machine Spotlight series. My name is Matt, I'm with QTE. I am the applications guy here for Verisurf. Today we're gonna to be going over the arm. I'm gonna be using this uh, Verisurf part as an example. What we're gonna do is we're gonna run the program, the same one I ran on the equator that took eight and a half minutes. We're gonna run through that real quick. And then we're also gonna, I have the part flipped over right here. We're gonna show a quick check of just doing a, throwing a quick alignment on it and just doing a quick surface check. This is something that's pretty handy with the arm being portable. It's really easy to just drag it out to your machine and just clamp it down and do a quick check without having to pull the part out necessarily. So you can check real quick if something's low or high and if it needs to be remachined or if, let's say maybe an end crashed and you can check to make sure it's not too low and undercut before you waste your time finishing off the part or pulling the part from it and just assuming it's bad when sometimes it may not be scrapped yet. So I'm gonna jump right into this program. This is the same program that I ran on the equator. So we're gonna go ahead and get it started. Like I said, I like to put a picture of the set up and then a print. And then it's gonna go right into the alignment. So, here. I have it set up to do auto accept, so I don't need to put the arm down and start over and go right into measuring. I measured all my datums first. As you can see on the tree over there, there the datums are a little bit bold. And the nice thing about this auto inspect is also that it, it gives you bad, bad, good or bad measurements. These are all based on what you have set up to report. And I have a set of do um, balloons and it also does a screenshot. After I take this last shot, you'll see the screen will kind of do like a little bit of a flash. That's taking the screenshot and then it's gonna, it did all the calculations for all my angles and all my lines down there. And you can see on the right side right there, it shows all my angles are all green within print. So now I'm gonna move on to the two inch hole. go into all the small holes. So I have it set up where the balloons pop up for each hole measuring. You can have it set up where it does do this or it doesn't do this. It's just kind of a double check. Let's say it is out. It's a little bit a nice bigger visual check for you to see that rather than just looking at the one number on the on the auto inspect. So again it's taking a screenshot. Now it's going to have me do the sphere. Lines. This arm is a nine foot arm, or I guess they call it a three meter. And my tolerance is about two thousandths on this, on the full volume of the arm. So these are pretty accurate for something to be able to drag around across the shop pretty easily. Nope. I messed up on something there. We'll just keep moving forward and then we'll check at the we'll check the report at the end. And we can just come back and measure what we had wrong. So here I'm gonna do the front surface. Mm -hmm. 
And I'll just press the red button when I'm done. And now I'm doing this little small surface in here. Same thing, I didn't set a number of points. This is just whatever I wanna take. Press the red button when I'm done. So now it's gonna pull up the report. But we know we gotta, it's giving us our pass fail, but you can see how much quicker this was than the equator. It's got our screenshots. We can see down here we got a couple red on our dimension. So our 3.9 dimension came out good, but on my seven inch dimension, I measured the wrong points. So we can exit out of here. And we can go back and measure. Line six, it looks like came out bad. So we can just go in here and we just click remeasure. And then it will unzoom out of here and remeasure our line six. So we can see everything's good now. This cone's out a little bit and our, our dimension here is out a little bit, but those are actually out of tolerance on the part. So it makes sense. And then now this part's done. So what I also wanted to show you guys was doing a quick check on the opposite side of this. So I'm gonna change my WCS real quick to looking down from the top side. I'm gonna go equals. Oh, here we go, top. So now I got my Z facing up. So we can go top view, looking straight down on the part. And the nice thing about this is with my Z set up on the table, I can just throw targets right on the table. So we'll go into measure. We'll create some new targets real quick. This is outside of the plan. This is just a quick check. Grab our datums. Oh, too many. So go down here, delete that extra one. Here, run auto align. So now I'm already aligned to the part. As soon as I press accept in the measure mode, it's gonna take me right into inspect build. So now I can go straight inside of here and start checking the part. So we can see we're a little bit low, but it's giving us a live readout right away. And what we can also do is I have my points set to two. If I go here to here to here, it automatically gives me a two point dimension here to here. It gives me a distance. This is a feature with inside of AirSurf. If you take two points, it does distance, uh, depth, uh, flush, and gap. So we got our distance or other, in other words, it, it could be called thickness. And it automatically gives us a dimension. So when we report it out, it's gonna give us a dimension. But I just kinda wanna show you guys the, kind of the speed of the arm. It's, it's really quick and it's very user friendly, especially if we get a program set up, it's really easy to run. And um, like I said, going out to the machine doing checks, it's great. It took us less than a minute to throw a quick alignment on there and do a check and know if this part's good or bad. And like I said, if we're doing an undercut or something, it's a real quick check to make sure if, if when that end mill broke, if you are out of tolerance or if you can just keep running the part without having to pull the part out put it back in, re-pick it back up. You can just throw this on the machine. We put ours on a plate right here. What you can do is you can set up one of these plates where it matches the grid of your machine. Like we match the grid of our table. So you can just throw it up on there. It's real quick, throw a couple bolts in it and align your part and check it. If you guys have any other questions, if you wanna see a demo or something on a different type of part, I know I use this Verisurf part a lot. I like this part because it gives me all the different types of measurements. Um, Feel free to reach out. Other than that, have a good day. Thanks for watching.